In this 3ds Max Tips and Tricks video, I'm going to show you how you can get access to 3D cars, which are available by default in 3ds Max when you start using Civil View. The only thing you need to generate a, a 3D car is a, is a shape. So I draw a line over here. Um, and in Civil View, I've already did the initialization. So for the first time, you need to initialize Civil View. Then it's going to ask you what kind of default settings do you want. Then you need to restart VDS Max and everything will be initialized. And then you can start Civil View. In Civil View, you do have access to what is called the Object Placement Style Editor. And if you have a shape selected, uh, it becomes automatically a parent shape. So what I mean by that, if I move the shape uh, by transforming the, the, the shape, in this case, the, the line, the connected cars will automatically move with it as well. So I want to use this as a parent shape. And then I'm going to create a new element. So in the upper part of the dialog, I'm going to add a new element. And I'm going straight into the vehicles. We have cars. If you want to see the uh, a bigger, a better preview, you can right click in an empty space and activate large icons. So in this case, I want to generate an, an Audi. Um, I want to place a single object. I don't want to animate it. If you want to give it a speed, you can do that down here in the animation options. And I'm just going to generate it. So I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to close this dialog. It's going to ask me, do you want to save this particular style so you can reuse it later? Uh, I don't need it later, so I'm not going to... I'm gonna, not gonna save it, um, and this is what you what you will will get. So when I go back from my clay uh, shading style into default shading, this is what you get, right? Um, the geometry itself doesn't look too good. So what you can do if you want to have a, a higher resolution, you can go into the modify panel. And uh, I'd like to use the Open Subdiv modifier, which is available in Max for a couple of years now. Um, and I'm also able to just drag and drop the Open Subdiv modifier to the, uh, the front axis of the vehicle and the rear axis of the vehicle. Um, next step might be the materials because when I when I do launch my Axis Shade in the viewport, I'm using just the uh, default art render. Can be done with Arnold as well. This is available since the uh, update three for Max 2019. So if I uh, activate Axis Shading, it starts calculating, and there it is. And immediately, what you see well. The material, it's, well, it's a bit flat. So what I like to do is just uh, quit the active shade and I'm going to convert the material into a physical material. That's the, the, the reason why uh, it looks so flat. So I'm gonna use the scene converter. So in the max rendering menu, I'm going to open up the scene converter. I'm just gonna hit the convert scene, um, and it's going to convert all the uh, materials into uh, physical materials. So if I now select the vehicle, if I open up the material editor and go to material, get from selected, it still is a multi sub object with a lot of, of different materials because all the, the different metallic paints based on the material ID are in there. So let me quickly zoom in on the multi sub object material. So if material ID one is being used and the, the body is green, two for blue and so on, um, it's it's green, but it's randomly picked. That's due to the default behavior of civil view. If you want to get rid of, of all the not used materials, there is a nice utility. So in the utilities menu of the slate material editor, there's an option called clean multi-material. So this is gonna 
get rid all of the materials which are not being used. So now it's 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 much more clear for me what kind of materials do we have. So the body green, uh, that's material ID number one. Uh, so let me go to material ID number one. Um, I was still, yeah, the, the old materials are still in there, uh, but they are disconnected. So if you want to just clean it up, go into edit, do a clear view, hit yes, and then uh, get it back from the selection. There it is. Okay, so now it's corrected. So double click to activate the material. And what I can do is just change the preset into a red sports carpet. So that's gonna add a coating layer. It's, it's, a, it's because the physical material is a layered based material. And if I activate my active shade again, this will look automatically much, much better. And I can do the same with the class if I want, if I want to do that. And, and from this particular point of view, I'm also able to uh, save the vehicle to my own car library. There's only one thing you need to take care of is that you disconnect the vehicle from the, uh, from the shape. And that can be done in the Civil View Explorer. So if I go to Civil View, Civil View, Civil View Explorer, this is where all the vehicles are listed. So I'm selecting the vehicle, so that's the Audi. And in the tracking tab, I'm gonna disconnect the position controller. So in the background, he's just using a path, path constraint, and I'm disconnecting this one. So by hitting the ax, he's gonna ask me, are you sure you wanna uh, bake the position? Gonna hit yes, okay. And now I'm able to select the uh, the vehicle itself and including the uh, front and uh, back axis. I might group this together. That might make sense to group this as my Audi. Okay. I can reset the transforms if I want. And then I'm saving out the selection as a uh, as a separate max file. So I am able to merge in the vehicle into any other uh, 3DS, 3DS max scene. Mm -hmm.